is Linda Cromar with lindacromar.com and I just wanted to cut you a quick video. I just got to thinking. I have spent a good part of the last three or four weeks uh, working on my mother's journal. I have written copies, of course it's handwritten, and so I'm digitizing it so that it can be available to not just myself but to my family. And one of the things that prevalently is running through the majority of the entries that I'm going through is all of the problems and how horrible those problems are and how unpleasant they are and how bad she feels. And the reason, the, the thing that I'm going to actually make a point of now is that I see that sometimes also online. I see so many people that they focus so much on the things that are not going well in their business, in their home life, everywhere, especially their financial situation. Because almost everybody is having financial challenges these days. Here's what I believe really happens when you continue to focus like that on the challenges. You just continue to have them over and over again because you're not learning the lesson. What is the lesson? Learning how, first of all, to stop focusing so clearly on the problem because what is a problem really? It is really something that is letting you know that there is an issue that needs to be taken care of almost always, some kind of a learning experience. And there is usually some underlying problem that you haven't solved or you haven't looked at, you haven't faced. And those things have to be addressed in order for things to get better. Now Jim Rohn said, if you want things to get better, you have to first think about how you want them to get better. And you have to start believing it. And you have to take those kinds of actions that are going to improve it. And as far as I know, complaining never was part of that process. So that's what I have to share with you today. The more you complain, the more you get upset, the more you focus on the bad things that are going on, the more you're going to see of those things. And the more you try to focus on even the tiniest, tiniest little improvement, and that's the big thing. Most people look for the great big improvement. And it's usually going to start out with the small, tiny, tiny things, maybe not even noticeable at first, before you're going to see bigger changes. So definitely focus on the good things, Try to minimize the things that are not going well for you right now. This is Linda Cromar from lindacromar.com. I absolutely recommend the challenge that, that most people me. have, and I can solve that right away, is having enough leads to talk to of the right kind of qualified people. And I can promise you that my Lead System Pro absolutely can help you solve that problem. And that is accessed by getting on that link that is right here underneath the video. It is also right next to me on the blog. And everywhere that you look, you're going to find that link. And definitely take that 14-day trial. Yeah, what do you have to lose? It definitely works for me, and I can help you. This is Linda Cromer from lindacromer.com. Let's have an awesome day. Bye for now.